enough jokes. You made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. Oh, yes. What was it you said to me before? Yippee-ki-yay, mother <laughs> Consumer Reports, where we put the anal into analysis. I'm your host, Gunther, and today, my handsome young friend Winston and I are going to be taking a shot at the Smith & Wesson M1911 handgun. I'm super excited about today's product, so without further ado, I'm going to blast it off to Winston, who's going to fire off some more details about this weapon. Kill you, kill you, maim you, kill you. Oh hey, didn't see you there. You sure are a sneaky one. I guess you're here for the gun review. First, let's start off with the pros and cons. The first and most obvious pro is it's great for liquor store robberies. I took this bad boy out for a spin earlier today, and he was very useful. Another pro of this product is that I can ease your pain and suffering and offer you a way out of this world, if you know what I mean. Now that we're done with the pros, let's move on to the cons, which I'll be if the cops ever catch up to me. <laughs> uh, well, my first problem, like any firearm, is that it's too humane. For example, some things are so evil, they don't deserve a quick death. <laughs> Another con with this is that it's very expensive. With prices over $1,000, a broke-ass cracker like me can't afford one of these. But if you utilize your investment wisely, like I did, it'll pay for itself tenfold. Now I'm going to pass it on to my Eskimo brother who's going to demonstrate the firepower of this fully operational hand cannon in the shooting range I set up in our backyard. Okay folks, today we're going to put this gun to the test. We have our own custom shooting range back here today and we're going to see how many uh, root beer cans we can drop. Hey guys, Winston here and I'm going to show you the gear that I'm using to protect myself from this dangerous weapon. First, we have this standard issue helmet that I got at Kmart for $12.95. Next, I have a wooden shield that I got at last summer's Renaissance Festival. And finally, I also purchased these pair of protective eyewear from Home Depot, my favorite store. Okay, to all the viewers out there, be cautious, don't try this at home, this is the official disclaimer, okay? Guns, as we all know, are very dangerous things. So don't go playing with them, you're gonna get somebody hurt. It's the number four, five cause of death. It's, it's a really high cause of death in the United States of America. So don't go home and try to kill somebody. Okay, let's do this. Wait, you know, bro, you might wanna wear some safety equipment, like some safety goggles or some safety gloves. We said shut up, shut up! Safety's for girls, let's do this! Hey, home slice, be careful, that looks dangerous. I play Navy SEALs, Elite Forces every fing day on the computer. I think I know what I'm doing here, Winston. Now that I've shot my load for the day, I'm feeling much better, and I'm ready to get critical up in this beach. On my own personal rating system, the Gunther Scale, I rate the product in question on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being complete shit, and 10 being f***ing awesome. My seasoned consumer experience, in addition to my experience with first person shooters and online tutorials, has led me to my decision. 
I rate the Smith & Wesson M1911 handgun a 8. Tight ball. So as I said before, while this is a useful tool for holding up liquor stores and committing other crimes, if you really want to punish someone, you should use some sort of bladed weapon. Like my fishing knife. So for my review, I'm going to have to give this a flask. There you have it, gun lovers. This time around, we have mixed reviews on the M1911, so you're going to have to go out and make your own decision. Just make sure when you do, your sissy girlfriend of a brother isn't around to ruin all the fun. Thanks for joining us today on Gothus Consumer Reports. And remember, your money is your money.